All right, guys, what's up? So um, tonight we're going to be covering doing elevations, and then tomorrow night we're going to be covering uh, so, um, symbols and things. We'll get into that. So um, tonight, for the case of doing elevations, um, I have this kind of little method I do, um, and we'll go over that in the process. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just start with the bedroom here, and um, we've discussed it in uh, previous uh, sort of I don't know, episodes, I guess, um, that you can right to left and left to right select. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right to left select inside the walls right here. So I'm going to grab these faces that are making up sort of what's creating the inside of this room, okay? And this is kind of like, I call it my rollout method, but I'm sure there's some better term for it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a CO for copy. I'm just going to click and I'm going to move it off over here. I just need a copy of it off in the distance here. Now, um, when you're visualizing this room, you have to think about what your different faces of the rooms are. And so I have one face right here. That's going to be the north side. I have another face that's made up of this, the panel for the closet, this face, and then this spot inside the door here. Um, optionally, I could also do a separate face here and then um, as I'm working my way around. And then I have the south, south side right here. Um, which is just the door and this wall, and then I have finally the um, west side, which is just this flat wall. And so how the rollout method works is you're going to do a right to left select, and you want to find yourself just below that um, north wall right there. So I'm just going to do that selection, and I'm going to do rotate, which is RO, so I'm going to re redo that selection there. So RO, enter to start a rotate. I'm going to click right here on this corner and I'm going to move straight up and that's going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'm then going to do another right to left and I'm going to just make sure I get that one spot there that I rotated at. And then I usually just go six feet. Um, it seems like a good distance. It works well enough. Um, you don't end up with too many overlap issues later on. All right. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, so what I'm going to do is the same process again. So I need to roll out the next wall. So I'm going to go to right there. I'm going to do RO from the same corner here. And then redo my selection. And I'm going to move this down just so that I keep these in line for later. So, ah, screwed up that. All right. There we go. And then, uh, oops. six, oops, not seven, six feet. And then again for the last one, RO, straight up, do the selection and move it over six feet. So what we have here is basically we've sort of unfolded this room in four parts um, into the various faces that will make up the walls that are in this room. So when I'm doing the elevations, this is how I kind of set everything up um, so that I don't have to keep coming back to the model to keep measuring these things out. I have the actual pieces that are making everything up. I can see exactly where the windows are, where the doors are, um, and if there's any sort of wall or something like that or a surface change, I can see that in this area. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this and I'm going to do 10 feet in this case and this is going to give me oh, oops. Yeah, let's do that, right, let me just do this one so offset 10 feet um, and I'm just going to go down and I'm going to stretch this all the way across until I get to the end here and this is just going to be so I don't have to keep redrawing lines at the bottom um, now I did 10 feet because I'm going to mostly have 8 foot ceilings in here so I'm going to offset this again eight feet down um, I think I wanted to have a slight uh, I think I wanted to actually have this ceiling here peak at 10 feet so I'm just gonna have to remember that right here and I can actually draw this in now um, so this is gonna go 10 feet so I'm just gonna put that right there um, and then 
um, because that's if the center of this wall right here is 10 feet it's this face right here uh, which corresponds to that one and then I would do the same thing to this remembering that as this unfolded um, the opposite side on this one is going to be it so it's going to be the one that's closest to this wall which should be this corner right here um, so those are my 10 foot so I'm going to offset this another two foot I know this seems kind of confusing now so I'm just going to clean this up so I know what I'm looking at um, and so that you guys can kind of follow along a little bit better so uh, we have an 8 foot which is going to be the lowest level of the ceiling and we have a 10 foot which is going to be the highest um, and then that slope will only be realized again on the east and west wall so your east and west um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back here and I'm going to um, let's clean up this first wall first uh, the west wall because that's kind of the easiest one to even worry about um, so I'm just going to draw a line right here space bar, space bar, and cycle over and draw another line right there. Um, I'll do space bar, get another line in here, and space bar with a line right there. Um, and so I'm really quickly kind of scaffolding out what lines I need to worry about here. So I'm just going to work through here. I'm going to move this one out of the way. This one can come over to here because I still need to do stuff with it. So let's see on this one I have just that door right there and I can actually start pulling some of these apart as I'm working my way through too so I'm just gonna grab select these and I'm gonna grab that top part bring it down and bring it down and then I'm gonna just for the sake of kind of placing it I'm just gonna draw another line right there and then we'll move this up uh, six foot eight for the seal or for the sill height for top of the door. Um, and then let's clean some of this up. So I'm just going to select this general area, do a trim. Um, we can get rid of these lines right here. Oops, I didn't select that over far enough. Um, so we'll trim this out that out and then we can cut that and that oh actually I see I did do something wrong there so this actually does need to stay at 10 foot which is why visualizing it like this actually helps it's because I can see that this peak right here should match up with this point right here so I can move this out of the way um, let's just delete these lines and we can trim this down here and here there we go. Oops. and we'll trim out the middle of this um, so that we have again that um, just based on what the walls were up here I have this west wall corresponding to this panel south wall corresponding to this one so then this next one right here is going to be my east wall. Again, I'll just draw a line down here. Space bar, space bar. Another line right there. Now this one's going to come from, again, match that top point right there. Draw a line across. And then, let's see. Um, let me draw another line here just to separate this and I can trim this one uh, pretty easily so we can get rid of this ch oh. did that not go far enough down okay so we got rid of that chunk um, we can get rid of this section um, that oh, I'll have to just delete this oh. um, and then we've got these lines right here nothing there okay so then the last part we have again is we have this door so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna grab the top corners right here another line at the bottom and we can move oops do not end or not end 
move um, move tool and we will again go in this case six foot eight up okay so again that will directly correspond to how that closet door is laid out um, and if I wanted to be I could even take these and just kind of for now move them down into the model um, so I know what's going where and then let's trim actually let's do this and trim out this top bit and that kind of gets those okay and finally our last wall so again match the ceiling right here with the ceiling right here so this one's just going to be a line right there uh, we'll do a trim get rid of that and then we have windows which are going to be a pain to select because those windows are there um, and the windows I'm going to just draw all the way down and then we'll figure out where they go from there I don't like how that's happening oh come on we'll just go past and fix it later all right uh, same thing here grab that and I'll just go past again so I don't have to worry about it too much I don't know why that's one why that one's being goofy um, so we'll trim off the bottom trim off the top now um, so for these windows again we're gonna do we'll just do an offset of the whole floor up six foot eight and then these were uh, let's do three foot tall do want to do three foot tall? Yeah, let's do three foot tall windows. Um, so we'll do them right there. And then what I'm going to do is just select this interior set of areas. And we'll do a trim on that. And that way I can just kind of boo, um, trim right there, right there. And so once I've got that, I can select my two windows that are up here. And I can just again move them down into the model so I know what's going there. And I can just get rid of this whole top section of lines. So um, I don't know. However, you want to do it, I feel like that's a little bit of an easier way than coming back here and using the measure tool and just kind of jumping around to stuff and going, what's this distance? What's this distance? And kind of constantly checking um, how long different lines are. Um, I feel like that's way too tedious and this gets you 100% results or 100% accurate results every single time, okay? So what do I do with this now that I've got it? So um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around and do an op a one inch offset and I'm just gonna kind of do all this. Um, sorry, click. I'm just going to set it up for multiple. It's not what I want. So one inch, um, and we'll just keep selecting all the borders on the doors. And this is what I'm going to do to create sort of the framing. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the closet right here. Um, and some of that framing that would go around. Um, I'm only going to do one inch trim because we're doing a demo. Um, but, you know, trim will obviously be different sizes in different cases. And for the sake of laziness, I'm only going to do one of these windows and then we'll come back and patch it up. And then, let's see, it doesn't have anything over there. Okay, so let's clean up the corners. We'll do a fillet. I'm going to set the radius to zero and M for multiple. So now I can do, just click through here, just do a click right there for the closet. And for the window, oops, multiple again, I'm just gonna click on that one. Okay, so um, I'm going to do, oops, missed another spot too, okay, 
No. Radius zero. Okay. There we go. All right. So um, I'm only going to do one window over here, and then just copy it over, so I don't have to mess around with it a whole bunch. Um, for our closet doors here, um, kind of the same method. I'm just going to start with the line tool. Um, we'll do the front door and then we'll clean it up afterwards so we'll just put some lines down here um, again this is a great place where if you had an existing model or a block that you had created elsewhere um, you'd be able to reuse that here um, however you needed to um, let's copy that so I'll just kind of copy my existing closet door that's floating around back there so we'll do, we'll move this one in six inches. And we'll move this one in six inches. We'll offset this six inches in, six inches in. And do that again on both sides. And then Say offset one foot, offset six inches, offset two foot, no, probably not that much. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way just because it's kind of getting in the way for me right now. Uh, offset 18 inches. Oops. Offset six, offset eighteen. Yeah, it works for me. Okay, get rid of this line. Um, I know this looks crazy complicated right now, but um, it makes more sense when you've done it a couple dozen hundred times. Um, so we'll just clean up again all these extra lines. This, yeah, it's gonna have to. Retrim this one. Okay, so there's our closet door, and then let's put a little circle. I'm not going to measure this one out. I'm just going to kind of freehand this one right here. Let's do one inch. Um, okay, so then we've got that. We'll select the whole thing here. We'll do a mirror. And actually, let's see where the middle is. So the middle's right there. So I don't want to do that. I just want to get this outside edge here. Because when I flip that over, I think this, let me just double check. If I do it from here, yeah, those wouldn't quite pass over. So let's just do this right side right here. Um, in my case, if you did your doors some way different, uh, oops, I didn't escape too soon. Um, if you did your doors some different way, you would probably end up with uh, different measurements. So race source objects, no. Um, so there's our closet door right there um, with trim. And then if I was feeling super fancy, I could come back in here and we'll do a two inch offset for floor trim um, so I'm just basically going around and adding details um, as needed so nothing needs to change on that this one could use another pass with the trim tool just to clean a lot of these measurements up we'll zap that and that and then um, because this is one wall that goes to another wall farther back. I'm just going to leave that there. Um, in different circumstances, I might actually bump this a tiny bit over. Actually, let's do that just to be OCD. Um, okay, so we've got those. And then we can move this over. Um, usually, I wouldn't move this too far. Um, if I just do a half inch, you get a little bump right there it would be indicative of how that trim would follow the wall around. Um, so we've got trim on the floor there, trim on the floor here. We can delete that door. We've got it. Um, again, we'll trim this. So I just need to take out that, that, and that.
because this is another sort of flush wall and that one's good to go. So, um, using my lazily drawn and totally not measured out and probably not correct door handle right here, I'm just going to do a copy. Um, and so when I run the copy, it says specify base point. I'm just going to go to the corner that's right here. Um, and if this door was closed, the handle would go right there. So I don't even need to kind of do much about that. Um, that just indicates that there is a door there. Um, so we have done, done, done. And then uh, we need to do this window. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, and then kind of the same process. I'm just going to go through here. Um, I'll draw that line as sort of a placeholder. And then I'll come in with a polyline and just get all of these points around here. Offset this one inch so that we get something on the inside. And then um, I will copy this again and just kind of how much detail you want to put into it. It's up to you. Um, I'm just going to do that. And then um, we can delete these X or that extra one. Um, that line is going to have to stay. And then just to kind of differentiate which side is the bottom, because sometimes it can look a little goofy if you have too many of these going on. Um, I'll move this out kind of two inches on each side. Um, not, not technically correct, but it helps kind of visualize it. Um, so I'll just kind of add some detail here. And that'll kind of frame out that window a little bit so you can understand, okay, yeah, that's the bottom. Um, if I was feeling extra fancy, I might even come in here and add, like, I don't know, some kind of handle. Or if you wanted to add extra, um, it just left my brain. But whatever the um, inserted panels are in Windows, if you wanted to have more panels like that, you could do that. Um, so I've got that. Um, because math, what I can do is just delete that one, take this, because I know that they're going to be the same distance from the wall here, um, because I set up the model, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this once. Um, did I not do it? CO, specify base point. So I'm going to go with this corner right here, same side on the opposite, hit escape, and then we'll do a mirror and flip that to the other side. Oops. If I paid attention, uh, and in this case, yes, we do want to erase the source object. Um, so that gets those windows in there. Um, if I was fancy and had a whole bunch of these models already set up, I could literally just drag and drop them into here, um, but I don't. So um, that's the process uh, that I would recommend for unfolding um, rooms. Uh, I can do this next room, the bathroom, in a kind of more traditional way. Um, so what I would typically do in that method is I would just start out with a great big line on the bottom here. And then I would use the measure tool. So I'll do the bathroom like I said this time. So we've got a two foot, um, that'll be a two foot gap and a two foot because that's a six foot wide. So um, in this case I will just do a line up eight feet and then it was six feet across and then again we'll do a two foot offset, two foot offset um, actually let's just take this in offset that six foot eight up and this is just one of those thinner kind of small bathroom windows so we're only going to make this one uh, one foot tall and again, we'll trim this out. Um, the bathroom is going to remain eight feet tall for the ceiling, um, just because in my head that's where we're going to have a lot of ducting. Um, maybe the AC unit's outside here, and we pass AC ducting through the bathroom, um, you know, to get into the bedroom and the living room here. So you could just centralize your AC unit, 
pump everything through one spot. So um, that's my headcanon for why that's like that. Um, so yeah, first wall right there. Um, the bathroom is a little bit simpler, so it's a lot easier to kind of measure this out. So we got 10 foot on one wall right there. Um, you will notice that I don't have. Um, oops. Uh, I do not have furniture or cabinetry or anything else right now. Um, don't worry about that for your projects for this week. Um, all right, so we got a 10 foot wall right there, eight foot, 10 foot, and back down. And again, this wall um, is pretty simple. Let's do this other one though. That one's gonna be a little bit more complex. So I'll measure this out. This new measure tool is way cooler than it used to be. Um, so we got a, yeah, this is one of those cases where it's like super frustrating. Um, so we've got, this segment is three foot one and a half. So this is one of those ones where I hate coming in here and going, okay, six foot. Every time, six foot. Okay, so we'll go up eight foot. And then that, again, because it's such a weird measurement, my brain doesn't just remember it. So three foot one and a half. So I can offset this three foot 1.5 um, because it's easier to type that. Um, then I've got to come in, measure my door gap, two foot six and four and a quarter or four and a half. So offset two foot six, offset 4.5 um, that way. And then I'll just throw a line at the top here double space bar and to the bottom offset oops Ooh, offset there we go six foot eight up and trim okay so um what else do we have oh yeah the last wall so the last wall is going to be basically identical to the one that's over here for now, um, just because I don't have any, again, cabinetry or mirrors or bathtub or anything. None of that's in there right now. So don't worry about that for, again, this milestone for this week. Um, so I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna do a CO because this is the, ex oh, except I did the wrong wall, CO. Um, and I'm just gonna reference this corner right here and replace that. All right, um, again, I need to do the door. So the door is gonna swing towards the thinner side, which means the handle needs to be in the center. So again, I'll come over to this one and just steal the uh, thing I already created. Reference that point, put that right there. And then let's actually, Let's do better. Let's actually grab the whole frame of the door here so I don't have to redraw all that too. Uh, CO, interior, we'll fix that. Um, so this goes here. What was that extra bit I copied? And why is it went happen there? Okay. Is there a like? Nope, okay. All right, so I thought there was some extra weird line. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna hold down shift. So then again, we've got this set of lines right here and I just need it mirrored to the other side. So just straight up, race source objects, yes. And I've just basically copied that door. Again, if you had an existing kind of um, technical um, or an existing sort of block that you could use for that, you could. Um, what do we do? One inch or two inch? Two inch. So I'll offset again. Two inch. These up. And then just clean up this last bit of a door here. Okay. So um, that's two root. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that's two rooms. Um, I again, 
I think I like my roll rollout method. It's a little bit easier. Um, I can just paste this. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's something that saves you a whole bunch of time and um, reduces your error rate, um, which is critical in a program as complex as this. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, <clears throat> so this would be one of those more complicated rooms where, again, I'd kind of be measuring a lot of stuff out more accurately. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to throw a line there, and we'll draw this one across. Offset two foot, down, and then offset this one eight foot. And again, we'll start at <clears throat> the north side here. So... Steal that line right there. Do that one, and that'll get our north wall where it'll be 10 feet tall um, filled in already. Draw another line here, and another line here just to get this wall going. Um, so, again, north wall, full 10 feet, east wall, downward slope get rid of this out of here and let's trim this um, south wall flat boring eight foot so that one's pretty easy and we'll do this one right here again with the slope Oop, other way slope no almost got me <laughs> midpoint right there that was close all right um let's trim these all out so i know what i'm working with uh, trim let's get those get that get that and just delete that manually uh, and we miss this trim okay so that again gets us our room and then again I can just say offset this six foot eight um, for that door and this again for the door and window right there um, what I'll do I do have a little trick method for this um, so again, because I already have these door models up here, I don't need to redraw these again. So actually, let me do offset. No, actually, we'll do the trim later. Um, so these are the opposite doors of this side. So I don't need to do anything, really. I can just kind of come in here. Um, we'll do a CO. And again, I'll use the inside edge of this door. Copy and place it. Copy and paste it right there. Now, because I also happen to know that this is a center point between these two doors, I can also do another mirror. And if I reference the center point right here, I can mirror that door to the other side because they're going to swing that same direction. Um, no for erase source objects. And that finishes up that room except for trim. That one's good. That one's good. Um, and again, we'll pull this window measurement down. Oops, drop the window. Um, no, this, this part right here. Uh, snap right there. And right there. And we'll get these two down here as well. Okay. So six foot eight is going to be the top, so I can just come in and kind of clean some of these edges up. 
get rid of all those, those, and there we go. Okay, so um, same idea with the front door. What I can do is again, um, for the sake of being lazy, actually, let me just get this part of this door and the handle. And we'll copy again from the interior point to here. We'll offset this one out that way. Fillet at radius zero. Um, I should probably finish this demo up soon. Um, so there's our front door again, just kind of copying and reusing existing assets. Um, and then uh, this was a six foot, uh, sorry, this was a giant window. We'll do a I'll make it four feet tall. Oops, nice big window for the front room. So offset four foot down here. And trim. And we'll just get rid of all that right there. And then I can come back over here. Now I had something kind of crazy with this window. Um, I probably, eh, we'll just call it at that. I can kind of try and replicate what's going on with this window, but I'm not going to. Um, because this is already a long enough demo. Um, but let's say, hey, I magically finished that. So um, that's a three room apartment elevations in 36 minutes. So, um, you know, whatever method you want to use, if you have something else that works better for you, um, but give this a shot. Um, start working on this tonight um, because this will be part of your milestone for this week. Um, and then we'll also be doing some paper space stuff. Um, in preparation for project three. So um, I will see you guys um, and feel free to actually What was it? yeah reuse your milestone For the one we just did in AutoCAD reuse that for this so just keep using the same one We're gonna do this whatever milestone you did for the previous one reuse it for this um, And then we will have a new project for project Three? Yeah, anyway, see you guys in class.